Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Mike Humphreys. We are in Tomogamy, Ontario, and our special guest today is Miss Sarah Humphreys. How are you today, Sarah? I'm great. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. So the date is May 17th, 2015. Mm -hmm. And how old are you, Sarah? I am 13 years old. Okay. And what school do you go to? I go to Fairmount Public School. And what grade are you in? I'm in grade 7. And what do you think the purpose of this interview is today? I think it's to see where I'm at in my life and maybe to see where I might be when I grow up. Okay. So we thought it would be fun. I'm your uncle. and We thought it'd yeah. be fun to interview you. And then maybe in five years' time, we can interview you again and have a look at it and maybe put it on YouTube so that you can see the differences as time goes on. Yeah, that'd be cool. Okay. And we're also going to do your cousin Megan next. Uh-huh. So we'll see the changes in her as well over that time period. So at this point, you're going to public school. Mm -hmm. You're in grade 7. And what activities do you do in school? Um, I love the long distance running that we do. We always have a great um, cross-country program. And I always enjoy hanging out with my friends. We all like to run long distance, so it's really fun. And we have our schools and arts spaces. Our art space school so we have a lot of art activities and a lot of things that we incorporate with art okay so. now when you say long distance running how far would you run um the first school I've ran 5k before but in the cross-country meets we range from 3k to 3.5k okay and how do you usually do in those races I'm middle I'm not like really really good but I'm not bad I think I think I I try my best and I think that I do um, come and the top 40 around there to the top 20, depends on the day. <laughs> okay. Now you mentioned you do art, or it's an art-based school. Yes. <laughs> so explain that to us, what that, what that is. Well, our school has been arts-based school for as long as I've been going. I started in um, preschool for a couple of days. I kind of went there a couple times a week, and then from kindergarten to grade 8, our school goes up to. And um, basically what we do is that our school incorporates art and like a lot of activities and a lot of things that we do. And it's just another way of like expressing our school and like making it a bit different from other schools. Okay. And what type of art? Is it drawing or painting or just a combination? It's just of kind art? of a combination of everything. We kind of like to incorporate um, art into our learning. Okay. Now, who is your teacher this year? My teacher is Miss Culp. And who was your teacher last year? Miss Ham. Miss Ham. It's yes. kind of a silly name, isn't it? I think no. <laughs> she she's such a good person. Yeah. So. Well that's good. That's good. Now in saying that over the years, do you have a favorite teacher? Well, I don't like to pick favorites because that's kind of um um I don't know, kind Maybe of Maybe somebody that just I don't know if it's rude, just somebody that you think made a big difference for you. Well, for me I think my grade four teacher, Miss Basica because I kind of went from a jump to grade three to grade four because in grade three I had a lot of trouble with reading and Miss Basica basically like took me and like taught me how to read and now I can read like anything. Okay, that's so. good. And you do a lot of reading, do you? No, oh. <laughs> <laughs> but I can read. I read for school and I, I can keep up with people and I like reading. Okay, very good, very good. Now, what do you do in the summer months? I go to Canadian Venture Camp, as my sweater says. Mm -hmm. I go there. Um, I'm going for a month this year. I also go to Pinery with my family. Um, Pinery? What's that? It is a provincial park in Ontario. It's just a camping place like any other camping like a campground? Mm -hmm. Yes, campground. I do a lot of swimming in the summer because I love swimming so much. And, yeah, I spend most of my days up in Tomogamy because it's so beautiful, and I have great friends here from camp, and I know people from, like, Hong Kong. I have, like, a best friend from Hong Kong, and then I have a really good friend from Sudbury, and then I have a whole bunch of friends from Toronto that I know that are from camp. So I have a lot of different people that I know from all over the world. And what is your favorite thing to do at camp? Water skiing. Water skiing? Yes. Wow. <laughs> and what types of things can you do while water skiing right now? Right now, I'm learning. Um, I started water skiing. I first started water skiing when I was six years old, and I wasn't very good. And then I kind of stopped, and then I kind of started again. I can um, water ski. Do you do two skis? I can do two skis. And do you do slalom yet? I have not done a slalom. I, I do not do slalom yet, but this year, I'm definitely going to push myself to do that. Okay. And is there any other aspect of water skiing that you want to try? Barefoot. 
Want to try barefoot? I also want to try wakeboarding. And I know that you and my dad used to do human pyramids on water skis, yeah. so I really, really want to do that. Yeah, and barefooting and, and yeah, tricks and, barefooting and a whole bunch and of different tricks, things. Yeah, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Um, now at camp, did you do a lot of swimming at camp? A lot, at least every day. Well, obviously every day because right. every day we have morning dip and then we always have swimming activities, so I always swim. Maybe you can explain what morning dip is. So basically we wake up at 7 a.m. and every morning we have to jump in the lake no matter what. If you don't jump in the lake, then at breakfast or lunch or dinner, you'll get thrown in the lake with your clothes on. So it's better to jump in the lake in the morning. Your counselors will wake you up. Also, um, counselor of the day will come into your cabin and they will, um, um, I don't know, something crazy. And then we all wake up and then we all run down to the lake, jump in, freezing cold. And we come back up to our cabins, we dry off and then get ready for breakfast. Okay. Now, um, as you move forward in camp, is there other things that you want to try? You mentioned water skiing, but is there other things that you haven't done yet that you'd like to maybe try? Well, I do want to get my gold in rock climbing. Um, I've got my bronze. I've not got my silver yet. I'm also trying to get my gold in um, rock, oh, no, sorry, <laughs> archery. And also I want to get some um, more like achievements like bronze, gold, silver in like um, kayaking and canoeing. I got my bronze last year in canoeing and I just want to try everything. I'm going to. Oh, that's good. No, yeah. that's good. So when you later on in life, when you go up to people's cottages and things, you'll be outdoorsy. Yeah, I do love the outdoors. Very good. So in not next year, but the year after you're going to be in high school. Yes. And what high school do you think you're going to go to? I am thinking I'm going to go to RHKN Academy. I like their academics there, and they have a great swim program, and um, yeah, I think it's going to be a good fit for me. Now, you also do swimming in through the regular year. Yeah. And whereabouts do you swim now? Um, I swim at a place called Olympian Swimming. It's not actually Olympian Swimming, but um, it's that's the place called. It's at Midland and I think Kingston Road. I could so be around wrong. the corner from you? Yes, it's very close to where I live. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's like Midland and something. Okay. Now, at camp, what are things, what is your favorite thing at camp? Well, as I mentioned, water skiing. And I also love tubing. Tubing's so much fun. We get to go super fast. I also love just like hanging out with all my friends. And yeah, I like, I like everything, okay. to be honest, everything. And what do you dislike at camp? Nothing. 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 Maybe sometimes morning dip when I get really <laughs> tired, but it's just something that we all have to do. So. Right. So looking forward, Sarah, what do you think you'd like to maybe do for a living? Well, that's kind of a hard question because, like, I'm not really sure. But I do like, um, I've always kind of looked into um, selling homes, you know, um, real estate. And I do like um, making videos. I also may... I don't know, consider that, but, um, so kind of videotaping yeah. someone's home and then utilizing yeah. that and being able to sell it. I think so. Sell the home or apartment or condo or. Yeah. Whatever. Also one thing I really love to do is making commercial jingles. I do that like for school sometimes. I love writing them. So I think that that's something that I really enjoy doing. So. Oh, very good. I didn't know that. Yeah. <laughs> so you learn a new thing every day, every day. Did you know that? <laughs> yeah, yeah. My dad also taught me some things about um, jingles because I know your dad and his dad, same dad, did that. Yeah, he was in the marketing. Yeah. <laughs> yes, very much so. Um, are you? Is it true that you're not a New York Rangers fan? Oh, I am. I'm definitely a New York Rangers fan. I've been a New York Rangers fan since um, since yeah <laughs> since I've been born. Um, it's just something that I love. Um, I love their team. I love. Martin St. Louis, they're such a great team. I know that they're going to win. Are you forced to say that, Sarah? No. Are you sure? I'm positive. Okay. All right. Now, do you have your friends over to your house and you go in the ranger room? You know, my, I don't know. <laughs> the thing is, my dad's ranger room, which is his hockey room, is kind of his kind of um, space. Um, he has, like, a, I don't know. He has lots of ranger stuff. Um, yeah. <laughs> Memorabilia. <laughs> yeah. Right on. Very good. Now, when you go to school, in your new school, in a couple of years, high school, mm -hmm. what do you want to achieve 
at your high school. You mentioned something to me yesterday, and I was kind of surprised, so I think it's interesting. You wanted to maybe be a oh. cheerleader. <laughs> okay, they don't actually have a cheerleading program there. I don't know if they will. Um, I actually I don't know if I can cheerlead. I can't, but I like doing it for fun, and it's like kind of my secret dream to be a cheerleader <laughs> because I just love like their form and like all their like techniques and moves that they can do. Mm -hmm. But yeah, maybe I'm also like kind of going there for the swim program. I'm really excited for that. <laughs> so, well, if you if you do some of the gymnastics at camp, you can probably yeah. fit into uh, a cheerleading program. Did you know your cousin Blake was on the cheerleading team? I did. You mentioned that last yeah. night. Yes. Yeah. So he quite liked it. And he uh, It's very competitive. It um, is. Cheerleading. I, yeah, I like to watch um, the cheerleading shows. I forget what it's called. Um, cheers. They have big, big competitions cheers and something. stuff like that. Yeah, I like yeah. watching it on TV. It's like cheer, cheer Perfection, I think it's called. I love that show. So in five years from today, it will be 2020, what do you think you'll be doing? Um, well, let's see, I'd probably be in university. No, I wouldn't. No, You'd not just yet. Just be I'll finishing be high, school. high school, probably. Um, I'm hoping to, I hope I'm going very successfully in school. Um, wow, that's a hard question. <laughs> mm. Well, again, it's just something what you think you might be at, and then in five years' time, we'll interview you again and, and see where you are at. Yeah. This is kind of fun to look back at it, and you're going to go, I can't believe I wanted to do this, or I like that, or... Yeah, I'm hoping that I'm going to have a job, like, you know, just a part-time job, and maybe, I'm kind of thinking of Tim Hortons or Starbucks. That would mm -hmm. be fun. Yeah. Or maybe the butcher shop. Okay. Or maybe, like, like a local store. Or maybe I'll, like, work up in up here in, like, the marina. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and, yeah. In the marina. I'm hoping to have my boat license because I really want my boat license, even though I was going to get it, I think, two years ago, but then I just didn't because I just thought it was too much work. But I'm hoping either this year or next year I'll get my boat license. So I hope I'll have that by then for sure. Now, what are the name of some of your friends in the city? Well, I have... Tons of friends, and I don't want to like point fingers at like my favorite. Like all my friends are equal, okay. but my best, like my best, like not best, closest but friend? closest friends are probably um, Emma Nethercott, Ruby Gallant, Kate Sinclair, and Olivia De Freitas. Okay. Because I can like I don't know we're so close and we always love hanging out and we like the same things, so. Very good. Yeah. So what? When you say you like the same things, what does that mean? Is it something they all run with you or they? Well, do you like to go shopping together? Or? We all like shopping. Um, we don't all run. I think three out of the five of us are like run. Run. And do you all swim? <laughs> um, we all are, no. I think I'm the only one. But we all love swimming. So we all can, you know, we all can relate. We can all, we all like each other's different sports that we all play. So we'll like play with each other. Um, we'll compete. We always like to compete with each other because it's so much fun. Yeah. And what is your favorite color? Lime green and probably baby blue because lime green is so bright and I just love green. And then blue is more like a calm sky and I like that a lot. Okay. And what are your three favorite clothing stores? I'd have to say Aviva because Aviva, I love Aviva, what's running. that? I haven't even heard of it. So I'm sure you've heard of Lululemon. Yes. So that's one of my top three. Okay. And so they actually have um, a kids store, and it's called La Viva. Oh, okay. Yes. It's, um, I love both stores because their clothes are great for running and active, and yeah. And then I'd probably say my third is probably Hollister or American Eagle because I just love the fashion they have there. Okay. So, yeah. And what is your favorite frozen yogurt place? Menchie's. Yeah. And what, what's great. your favorite phrase of frozen yogurt then? Um, probably. Well, it's hard. Do they mix it up like berries or something? You can, and put yeah. It in a cup you can whatever? have whatever. Like you can put as much. I would probably say um, the watermelon because I love fruit frozen yogurt. It's so good. <laughs> yeah. So on a Saturday, let's say your dad says to you, Sarah, what would you like to do today? Mm -hmm. And you get to start at eleven o'clock in the morning and finish at nine o'clock at night. What would be your thing to do? I would go to Menchie's. Okay. So that would take, would, what, 20 minutes? 
Yeah, I would also <laughs> probably want to go to Vaughn Mills, which is a mall, because they have Bass Pro Shop there, and my dad loves that store. Okay. And then they have, like, Aviva and Lululemon, all the stores I like, and, like, Hollister, and, like, um, they have everything. It's such a great mall. And I'd probably also want to go to the movies. And... Uh, What's your favorite movie? Probably Grease. Um, it's an old movie, so I think it's... 1960s, 70s, yeah, 70s, something. Really yeah. old. And then fault probably also <laughs> the fault in our stars. The what? The fault in our stars. What's that one about? It's about um two like it's like a romantic um um kind of they're like they have cancer and they kind of overcome that and then one ends up dying at the end. Which is ah, sad. Okay. Yeah. And what college do you think at this point that you would like to go to? That's hard, but I have been thinking about that. Probably UFT, which is University of Toronto, or maybe Queen's University, but I'm not sure because maybe I want to go to France or the States or something. Do some traveling first? Yeah. So is there a certain place in the world that you'd like to go that you haven't been to before? I would love to go to um, Greece mm -hmm. <laughs> because it's so beautiful. My parent, my mom, I think both my parents, I have no idea. I think they've both been there to Greece. Um... And I also want to go to Paris, France. I've been to Italy. I want to go back there again. And um, probably Ireland. Very nice. What is your favorite number? I think two. Because um, my birthday is um, um, 02, 2002. Ah, okay, very good. If you could change one thing in your history... What do you think you'd like to change? Um, maybe would I wouldn't be so shy when I was young. So shy. I, I yeah. was sort of shy. Like I let people kind of like over, take over me. I mm -hmm. don't know. Because I kind of wish I wasn't as shy. But now I'm not shy. So. Okay. That's good. And if you had an opportunity to sit down with anybody in the world mm -hmm. and have dinner with them, even if it's from past history or even in the future, who do you think that might be? Olivia Newton-John. Olivia Newton-John? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I wouldn't mind sitting down with Olivia Newton-John either. Yeah. She had a lot of uh, good songs back in the 70s. And the reason, I guess, is because she is one of the stars of Greece. Yes. <laughs> yeah? Okay. Well, Sarah, thank you very much for your time. You're welcome. And we will check in in five years' time to see what Sarah Humphreys is up to. Okay. I'm All looking right. forward to it. All right. We'll see you on YouTube. Bye.